Oral fluid exchange, transmitted regurgitation, vomiting in each other's mouths, imbibing anal secretions, or ecotrophobiosis. All of these thrilling fluid exchanges are trophallaxis. William Morton Wheeler first coined the term trophallaxis in 1918 to mean the transfer of liquid food between members of a social insect colony. He also placed this behavior within an expanding framework of parent-offspring, social, parasitic, or mutualistic fluid exchanges that can be observed throughout the natural world. In light of Wheeler's original definition of a nourishing fluid exchange in the context of parental care, mammalian nursing could even be considered trophallaxis. So that means you've probably done it yourself. Who engages in trophallaxis and why? Generally, the more eusocial a species is, like ants, bees, and termites, the more trophallaxis occurs. With increasing eusociality comes increasing division of labor. With increasing specialization of individuals within a superorganism or of tissues within a single organism, there is an increasing need for both resource distribution and signaling. One can think of the trophallactic fluid distributed amongst the crops of each colony member as the circulatory system that connects each member of the superorganism. So how does it work? Highly eusocial insects have a specialized proventriculus, a sphincter separating the crop from the midgut that allows them to regulate flow along their alimentary canal. So when an ant passes food to her nestmate, by trophallaxis, she only empties or partially empties her crop, while the business end of digestion, the midgut, remains undisturbed. Outside social insects, trophallaxis between species is an often used indicator of parasitic or mutualistic interactions. Beyond invertebrates, vampire bats share blood meals, many birds feed their young by regurgitation, and dog pups typically get regurgitated food as part of their weaning. Human kissing, however, does not appear to transmit nourishment and therefore, unfortunately, should not count as trophallaxis. <laughs>